this week. I've been in such a good sleep and my alarm has woke me up from like a really good dream. <sighs> good morning, happy Friday. I just realized it's really loud because I'm pumping up the heater right now. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. Welcome to another day in the life vlog. It's freaking freezing. It's so cold. The last week has been like unbearably cold. Apparently there's like a like a wind from the Arctic that's been like blowing across Australia right now. So yeah, like I'm getting chill blames. I am off to work and I'm no longer employed if you've noticed the title of this video because today is my first day like running my own business through the gym because it's been over six months now that I've been working at Fitness First. So you're only an employee slash level one personal trainer for the first six months and then after that you are on your own and you run your own business, you don't get paid, you get your own clients and you pay the gym and then you get paid by your clients and today's my first official day as a level one, sorry, a level two franchisee. So I am a business owner running my PT business through the gym which is really exciting and cool and um, a little bit scary because holy shit it's four degrees um, sorry I need to show you guys this what the heck I only have four clients this morning at work so I'm gonna be there for basically for the whole morning and then and then I have a lot of study to do because I have exams in the next two weeks so next week and the week after also mini update if you guys saw my recent weekly vlog where I died I'm a lot better the week after that I died like fully died I died partly because of how much I was doing and how many assignments I had since the assignments and like finishing my classes for the semester I have caught up on sleep not caught up but like prioritized it and been getting really good sleep like this last week oh every time my alarm's gone off in the morning I've been in the best sleep which sucks but it's also great because I've been getting sleep um, so I feel a lot better and I only have two exams left like every like even though I've been feeling a lot better and getting more sleep all I've been doing is work and every bit that I'm not working studying or training um, because the exams are coming up so I just I can't wait till they're done but they're almost we're getting closer so eee. anyway time to go and work my first day it's the same thing I'm doing the same thing but I'm just like doing it on my own not through like being employed now so time to go and do my first day as a level two <laughs> in the freezing gym aircon wait where is this energy from I told you I feel good like what the heck So now I'm gonna head home. This other I have training, my favorite session of the week, hurdles, except I've been really like dreading. Like I love training, but I've just been dreading the freezing weather the last every day of training. <laughs> um so until the Arvo. I have a lot of stuff to get done. I'm gonna study. I also did a little white fox haul, which I'm gonna go home and quickly try on before I smash out the study. And then my parents also want to take me out for a little bit of a lunch at the local cafe um, to celebrate being a lot too. Also, fun fact: I didn't miss a single day of work in the in my whole employment, my whole six months as a level one. So, anyway, let's go. When 
I got home, I went through my daily to-do list, quickly updated that, had a look through what I needed to do, and then smashed out a study block before getting stuck into the rest of the day. Um, sorry, just for reference, this apple is literally the size of half of my face. Okay, it doesn't look that big in the picture, but whatever. I studied for about an hour and my mum is like, I'm hungry, can we go out for your lunch already? So I'm going to quickly get ready and go. And before I go, I thought I would open this on camera. So I may have done a mini White Fox haul. When I say mini, I genuinely mean extremely mini because I still am doing my 20 item rule. If you guys saw, I think it was my Byron vlog where I talked about it. For this year, one of my resolutions or goals is buying no more than 20 like material things for myself, unnecessary things. So obviously that's like not much at all. And I've bought more than that through this year, but not things. So like, as in I've still spent money on things like food, petrol, like necessities. And it's just material things that aren't necessary that I'm including in this 20 item thing. And I literally, it's June, we're halfway through the year almost. And I've literally not even gotten halfway through buying my 20 allocated items so i haven't gone shopping really at all this year pretty much haven't bought anything since byron okay so i am kind of cheating a little bit because as i said it's 20 like unnecessary things and this is like probably cheating but whatever i make up my own rules i don't really want to count active wear because first of all i haven't bought any active wear yet can i just say but now that i like work as a pt it's like my uniform like i'm in it every single day and yes i do have like a work uniform however i don't wear the work uniform tights and in saying that i've recently become a group exercise instructor and then you wear your own active wear so it's like a work necessity so i don't really want to count active wear so i went on because of the like sarah's day sale and i love the tights and then I bought some more things that weren't part of that. So let, let's just open it already. So I got myself a pair of tights because I wear them literally every single day for work and a sports bra. And then I got myself two other things, not from the active wear range, just from White Fox. One because it was on sale and it was like a really nice set. And one because it was a hoodie and I was like, mm hmm, it's winter. And that just, I just want like a, a nice hoodie. And I'm surprised that that'll fit in this, but let's see what it looks like. And I guess I count the set and the hoodie as part of my 20 items. And that probably puts me at about halfway. So that's still like really good for being halfway through the year. And I really just like, <laughs> I want to go shopping. But like I haven't gone shopping this year because I know like I can't buy anything. Like I can, but like I don't want to just like have nothing to buy for the rest of the year. I hate when they give you like a 10% discount code. Like no, I'm not going to buy more things. Like I already felt bad enough for buying things. Okay, let's start with the active wear. I bought a pair of tights, as I said, and I got the midnight camo because they're like black, so I can definitely wear these to work. And I am here for this. So they're very similar to the not midnight camo ones because I do have the other camo ones, which I'm actually wearing. These are the just normal camo ones, which I love. I wanted to get the matching sports bra because I wanted to look like I don't really own any like matching activewear sets and i wanted to like actually like look cute and put together they didn't have my size so what i did was get a sports bra that also was super cute that was in my size this one and i thought because it literally matches this like it would kind of work as like a little set together do you reckon like ah. so i'm gonna try this on um, and wear it with these tights that I'm wearing now to training tonight. So let me see if this works. This is actually a stunning sports bra. I actually like this better than the matching camo sports bra, like the accents, like these match. 
Okay, this is the Monza sports bra in tangerine. Both the tights and the sports bra I got in extra small. This is the back of it. Sneaky flex. Okay, I'm so glad I got this, this fit. So this is the OG camo tights that I already had. And then I got the camo tights that are going to be the same, but they're just black camo. I like it. I'm glad I got this. I love the straps as well. Like, look at that. It's like half, half. I'm going to try on the hoodie that I got. Okay, this was such a hot hoodie. It was like oversized. I love the color. It's sand. It's called All In Oversized Hoodie. And I got it in a small slash medium. This was another good purchase. This hoodie was not on sale. This was the only not sale item I got. And I don't care. It was worth it. And it's so comfy. And the inside is really soft and fluffy. And I love this color. I pull it all the way down. Yeah, that's the length that we want from an oversized hoodie. Oh, I love this. The white fox with no vowels. Because I don't know why people do that. But it's like bougie and cool. And this is how oversized it is, and it's super comfy. Delicious. This is this is what I want to be spending every day in, in winter. I'm just like vibing winter right now and embracing that it's winter. And this, this has done it for me. I love it. So I really should have tried this on last because I don't want to get out of it, and I want to wear this out for lunch today. But last I have the really cute set that I got, and this was on sale, and this was the random impulse buy. So I really hope it looks good because there's no refunds on sales so anyway so it's the endless summer mini skirt and stay here forever crop and i'm including them as a set even though i had to buy each piece separately because they're a set i only bought the skirt because i wanted to look put together in a cute little set super cute really hope that it fits with my you know non-existent Okay, it's a bit, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. I don't know how I feel about it. Mmm. Mmm. Like, I'm not sold. I mean, the sleeves are a bit puffy. It's cute. I'm glad that the top fits. Like, do you know what? I really like the top. I like the top a lot, and I think it'll look really cute with, like, jeans and other things like that. But as a set, mmm, it's a little bit much. I don't know. Um, I don't have regrets. Like, I don't have regrets, but I just don't know. Do you know what I mean? When you're just like, ooh, well, that's a bit different. Like, it's nice. Different. It's unusual. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about the set together. Like, separately. Separately, I think it'll work. Mm. What do you think about this? I don't know how I like it as a set. Like, I think separately they're cute, but together it's a bit much, don't you reckon? No, I like it. That's all. Okay, I'll go get changed into what I'm wearing now. We're about to go and get lunch. Say hi, parents. Hi, parents. <laughs> I'm doing a, a vlog about how I'm no longer employed. <laughs> You're unemployed. But I'm not unemployed. I'm just my own business. <laughs> Mind your own business. This oh way's better. <laughs> Come back. Wait, turn, turn this way more. So you oh face the camera. Lord. Okay. There. <laughs> That's cute. Can we start now? <laughs> no. We didn't have enough options last time. <sighs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. This is terrible lighting, actually. Yeah, it's Maybe we'll wait bright. till we turn the corner. Maybe the we should have looked down like this. Of... We're walking down the street because we live less than a kilometer away from the cafe we're going to. It's like our local little brunch spot. Also, I looked up the menu and they still have the falafel bowl, but it's changed slightly. So I think that's what I'm going to get. Anyway, what have you guys thought about how much I've worked while at uni this last semester? Oh, I haven't worked enough. No, be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, you've worked your butt off. Yeah, you've stretched the limits of human endurance. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That was <laughs> taking a bit too far. That's taking a bit too far. But yeah. Dad was obviously going to take it too far. See, mum, mum's like, you didn't do enough. I have to joke. balance. Yeah, mum has to I'd balance. Yin and yang. Um, oh, it's the bangle. Do you know what I 
know what, at first I was like, it's gonna be car keys for the electric car I want. <laughs> And then I felt it. Oh, I'm scared. Me too. Me too. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I love it. So this is from Al Gold. Yeah. So it's from Nana's gold and Grandpa's gold and Dad's gold and my gold. It's the same size. It'll get on. I'm just gonna have to force it over. It's a good size. Thank you so much. I thought you were going to wait till my birthday. Oh, no. Why do you use a special day? Because you're a business owner. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, anyone can be a business owner. It doesn't mean it's a good business. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Dad. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> We just got back. It's literally freezing outside. Like my fingers have been getting chill blains. Like, can you see how fat and swollen these two are? It's chill blains, which is like from the cold. So like, oh, like training the other night, it was so painful because like you're doing sprints. It's not like distance running. You don't really warm up at all. So yeah, that was, that was something else. But so we just got home. I have just under two hours till I'm leaving to train. So I'm going to smash out some study. I also need to get some work with my clients done. So I'm going to go through my books, um, contact some clients, set up some more direct debits. Cause now that I'm a business owner, that's the main preferred option for my clients. And yeah, I'm also in love with this bracelet. Ah, focus bitch. There we go. How beautiful. So basically, ages ago, my mum wanted to get all our old jewellery that like we've inherited or like got it at christenings and it's just been sitting there for years and years and years. She wanted to make like a piece of jewellery for both me and my sister that we would both actually wear instead of it's like random like fugly old stuff, some of it, just sitting there. So I wanted a bangle and my sister wanted a ring. So my sister is getting a ring made and I got obviously this bangle. I had a few different inspos. One was like a little swirly design, which was going to be too expensive. And I'm kind of glad because I really love how simple this is. Like I didn't want it just plain. I wanted something, a little something, something on it. So this is so pretty. Like the little stars. Like it's pretty simple, but then it's got just a little something, something. Sorry, how good's the tattoo looking there as well? Anyway, that was such a beautiful catch up with my parents because of like how busy I've been. All of my free time has been spent just like studying or training. And it was so nice to just have that little time of just like going out for food, which I can't wait to do. And like going at brunch again when I have free time in a few weeks when exams are done. Um, until then, I need to get back into working. I'm just getting changed for training and I'm so happy with this crop and how it matches this low key and also my bangle. I'm so freaking in love. Okay, off to training. Gonna go freeze my little butt off featuring some hurdles. Um, do I look like a weirdo with this? A little bit, a little bit. It 
is bloody cold, but I'm keen for training. So on Fridays, it's a solid 400 meter hurdle session. And last Friday was, it was painful. I died of lactic and I have the same session today. So it's broken 400 meter hurdles. So it's like a 220. So the first six hurdles, then a one minute break and then 180. Um, and I died a lactic death, especially the second, the second set. It was like, whoo, I was gone. Um, so just something I thought about adding because I thought about, I thought about sharing with you guys cause I found it really great over the last few months slash weeks is using visualization. So whenever I feel bad about like putting on weight and getting to a healthier weight and eating the amount that I need to eat, I just remind myself not only of where I want to be, but I visualize it. Like I've just been visualizing where I picture myself, like running really fast and being really strong in a year from now and like competing at nationals and like making the start line rather than being too underweight. And I've been finding that really like empowering and motivational. So yeah, visualization, whenever you feel like you're struggling or having a bad day with like fueling your body or eating enough or you feel bad to eat, visualize where you want to be and act like the person that you want to be literally coldest day of my life and i literally covered the back window with these hurdles so let's safety first jake's hurdles first Shut up. i just wasn't bothered to like reorganize the back of the car that's on my to-do list i have a list of things i want to do when exams are over and i actually have time to do something outside of studying and work and it includes things like my ebook that i completely forgot about existing but i have lots of workouts um to add to it oh working on my business i have to open like that many bank accounts to like have a tax account have a super account um now that i'm a business woman need to get an accountant okay another big thing on the to-do list is my podcast i literally have not had a chance to touch it it stresses me out whenever i get a message about it because i'm like guys i literally like struggle to get enough hours to sleep let alone to make a podcast and youtube i want to make so many more videos it's been such a struggle to like maintain weekly uploads so just like oh, everything, there's so many things I'm so keen for when exams and sleep. Oh, sleep, that's another thing. <sighs> recovery, mm, recovery, I'm so keen. Woo! What else is on my list? Merch, I would love to do some merch. circuit done at home <laughs> wow i actually love that so much like that we like at training sometimes just like gossip for that long we're like shit we're here till like 8 p.m sometimes i've left here at 8 30 before because we talked I know. After it's, it's a problem it's actually it's problematic problem. <laughs> i got home it's like shit it's nine o'clock at night just is pretty bad as well to be honest the amount of time oh. that like just as our coaches sometimes we gossip with her for like an hour after her yeah, session. Yeah, I know. Everyone will be gone and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry that I get you back. But then I'm like, actually, you get me back, yeah. so it's fine. <laughs> What's the time? 6.50. I got in the car to leave 20 minutes ago. It's all right. I so it's been a quality yeah. conversation. Do you know what I need to do? I was I was leaving the heat on because I'm going to drive home in my crop top. So when I get out of the car, <laughs> I have to run straight to the shower. Otherwise, you nice. know when you like, get home and you kind of procrastinate? Oh, I do I just want to run time. straight just, into the that's shower. That's where most of my like, screen time comes from. Also, oh. getting out of the shower when I don't want to like take you know my towel off and get out of the steaminess. Yeah. Like, I just, you just stay in the shower and you're like, goodbye, water girl. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I need to leave. Yeah. And you need goodbye. to go circuit. <laughs> I'm, everyone's done. I'm going to have to Yeah, you, you really missed that. And I really missed that. Oh, well, it's worth it. <laughs> Sorry. No. Want to know what I want. I made it to a traffic light and as soon as I pressed record, it went green. Why? What the angles? This is so weird, this angle. I'm literally just trying to hold the steering wheel. You better run, you better take your bop. This song is like not a bop to jam to, like it's a fucking bop. But not to like sing to. When you're in the mood to sing, do you feel? From the rain. I forget the words. Blue denim was his, no, in his veins. I feel like singing to this song and I forget the words. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, 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 
legal? Don't think so. Last someone's daughter. Last someone's. Just like I know you should. My foot's starting to hurt a little bit from those hurdles plus the second session I did after it. Not all of it though, a little bit, but oh well. I made it back home and I was gonna do a chat fill in of the training session, but this lighting is just disgusting. So I'm not gonna do it. Not in here at least. Okay, I just got back home. Let me do a quick little fill in. Do you know what? I'm way too cold for this, so I'm gonna jump in the shower and then BRB. I am showered. And in my comfy trackies, little session rundown. So Fridays, my hard 400 hurdle session, and I absolutely love it slash I'm scared of it, but it's so rewarding and it feels so good afterwards. So basically the session is, our sessions always start with a half an hour warm up, which is just like jog laps, drills, dynamic drills, hurdle drills, run throughs, strides. Then we get cracking on the session. I literally just did one rep to the first hurdle, one rep to the second hurdle so like over two hurdles and then I had my broken 400 so it's a 220 so six hurdles then a one minute rest and then a 180 and it's it's fun <laughs> the first set is it's okay it's fine um that second rep mm. <laughs> but the second set last week I I died a lactic death this week I was actually okay so I was able to jump into some of the senior session that is afterwards. I usually try to do the hurdles and then our second session after, but the, the 400 sessions hurdle session is hard, so usually I just can't. Today I was able to get through some of it, and and then I did a long extended cool down, just like a couple of jog laps, and then DNM to the Ella after, which was just really nice. So yeah, I didn't die as much as last week. Last week I came home and had a cold shower which was freezing, but I was like, I need it for recovery. And I was so lactic that the pain of the cold shower was not that bad. I wasn't as lactic today. Like I was okay. I was kind of just like, mm, I'm a little bit dying. It's 8 p.m. And I'm gonna go and chill for a bit, eat some dinner, have a little bit of wind down time. And then I'm gonna spend some time on some like programming and stuff. And then I'm actually gonna take some time to do some editing. The days I don't have to get up at like five or four, I'm trying to like get into the habit of reading before bed because it's just like, it's lovely. <laughs> I used to get really like, really, and not saying used to like I don't anymore, but I'm so much better with it. Kind of like, I don't want to say the word triggered because I hate the word triggered, but just really like, mm, when like, for example, if I went out with my family or they had a big lunch and we all had a big lunch and then my parents didn't really want dinner and like my mum often like if she eats a big lunch won't have dinner, like she'll eat a snack or she'll have like dessert for dinner and I used to always be like, I still want dinner and like I feel bad if we all ate a lot but like and I ate more and I was like anyway and um now I'm just like first of all they're not 20 years old like you know old people don't have as high of an energy needs as young people second of all they didn't just go and train for a couple of hours and yes they're active they're, they're active people but like I'm hella active <laughs> and I have almost 14,000 steps it's not that much, but that's a lot of steps, kind of. And my active calories today, even though I don't like look at this much and I don't really trust my watch, it's hella high. So it's been a day and I want dinner. Also, if I don't eat dinner, I wake up starving in the night and I want a good night's sleep. So I'm going to go eat some dinner. Oh yeah, I was going to add, if you guys are wondering, like new people here, since like if you're an OG, you probably know this. My parents are like really old for me. I love them to death. But you're probably like, why are your parents like mm, 60 when you're like 20? Like, yes, they had me quite late. Um, my dad also has like a billion children. He's got a lot of kids. My oldest sibling is 46. So like 25 years older than me. And he also has grandchildren that are older than me. So yes, I've been an auntie for my entire life. And I'm really sliding down into the splits right now. Um... Sorry, I'm literally like in the awkwardest position trying to get average, averagely decent lighting. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Uh, bye. So that was like, I've been watching too much Mike's Mike, 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 Mike. Too much of Mike's Mike. You know when you watch someone heaps and you start like using their like connotations and slang? Sorry if I, um, what is going on here on this day? Too much, but I love him and I think he's hilarious. <sighs> wow, 
Wow, my, my heart rate is still not recovered from that training session. Anyway, I am now going to finally shut up. See you guys later. Oh. I stayed up too long, winding down and just like having free time and procrastinating, getting up from in front of the heater. And now it's almost 11 and it's too late. I should go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, good night. Yummy, my bed is so delicious. Mm.